clause printed on the March list, Amendment 68. I'll say a few words on this because I've been working on this for a long time. Um, I got interested in the whole issues around age verification when it became apparent a couple of years ago then that this was going to get to the top of the agenda. And for the last year or so, the Digital Policy Alliance, which I chair, has been working on and working with British Standards Institute to produce a public available specification, PAS 1296, which will be exactly on this issue. And the whole point about it is, to, is to being able to do anonymised verification of the attribute of what age you are. And the thing about the whole thing, people say, well, you're going to have to give the information to the, let's call it the porn, the adult content website, the porn site, but you don't necessarily need to. You go, and this is the whole point, because there are two stages. One is when you first encounter the site, which is when the child or the adult will arrive at the site. Then if they're allowed into the site, what they then do. And at the point when they come at to the front page of the site, where they should be asked, are they, prove whether they are or aren't, there should be an option on that, and this is the point about anonymity, which allows you to bounce off with a token to an age verifier. And for instance, I've got on my smartphone here, one from Yachty where I can, then I, that will, I identify myself to them, they know about me, and they send an encrypted token back to the website, which does not contain any identity information at all, purely the fact that I am over 18. If the regulator later needs to unravel it, because it appears that things have been breached, it is possible to present the token and un start unravelling it, but only with proper powers. And the point is that a hacker can't find out who presented that token. And so it is possible now to do it. And this rather answers the noble Lord Lord Maxon's point. Where the problem with an identity card is it will identify you. And if you give your identity to one of these websites, and it happened to be like Ashley Madison <coughs> Act, and you are a cabinet minister, then your career is probably in ruins. Or probably most of us here, actually. And so I think it's essential we are permitted anonymity on this. So uh, 